Hey, good afternoon, YouTube. Hey, I got a stove for you. I did my coffee challenge the other day uh, on this stove, and uh, James wanted to see it simmer, and Eldon had some interest in it. Hey, Eldon, I hope you're feeling better, man. Um, hope to hear from you, see how things are going. Uh, got this little gas stove, G A Z, okay? Um, it takes these little fuel cylinders. There's no thread in the bottom or top. It's got like this little dimple. These fuel cells are pretty hard to find, but they're out there. They don't make them anymore. Not that I understand. There's some other diameters and, and heights. So be careful when you're getting uh, these to, you know, that, that you're getting the right one. But I would never pass on any of these. If you ever see them out and about yard sailing or thrifting, grab them. So um, I'm gonna show you the stove. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, thank you, Ann. Ann sent me this stuff uh, up down from Seattle. Um, I collect these gas stoves. Uh, I'm the minority, a lot of people don't. Uh, I love them uh, and I'll go over the reason why. Uh, so what you're looking at here is you're looking at the tank uh, cradle. So you've got these little uh, uh, clips that uh, lock into place and your uh, fuel cell will actually go up in to the clip and then these little guys right here will clip uh, around the bottom. So you're gonna end up with something that looks like this. I'm not gonna do it for this one, but you'll, if you can get the, the gist, you'll see that these will actually snap underneath it and hold the tank in place. And I'll show you an example of that. And then what you'll end up with is this threaded, threaded throat right here and you'll see the tank through there. And then you'll see that on the bottom of the stove, you've got your overall thread and then you've got your brass fitting, that little rubber grommet that's gonna seat in that dimple. And then you'll see like a really sharp point there that we're gonna thread down into it. And uh, that'll puncture the top of the tank and let the fuel flow up. Now, um, I've already done that. So this is your end, end game here. You can see the, the top, uh, the tank top, and you see the brackets that held the tank into place and then I've threaded the stove down into it and punctured it and now we've got a working stove so pretty cool you can uh, it's modular right so you can take this off and I can I can turn that one into a lantern right um, you saw the stove base this is a uh, little this is an accessory uh, that folds up nice and tight yeah, but it opens up like a butterfly there and uh, gives you some more stability this is also the large uh, I like this one the best this has the real uh, they fold up uh, but they're it allows you to put a big pot on the top of this one and as you can see this little guy would be for like backpacking or day camping you know this one will open up and uh, support a small pot Kind of lift up and spread out and there you have it okay so let's light this bad boy up and take a look at, at how it works okay i'll see you in a second okay easy peasy fold our uh pot stands down okay expose our burner give it a little crack make sure we've got some gas and let's fire it up there we go Listen to her roar. Now take a look at this. Simmer it down. Down to nothing. Yep, there it goes. One of the things I like about this fuel is it's butane. Okay, and uh, I feel like it just burns hotter, uh, cleaner, and uh, of course, I think uh, in altitudes, I think it actually is uh, really beneficial on high altitudes to keep burning. So anyway, there it is, GAZ, G-A-Z, and uh, this particular one is a Bulette S700, and thanks for uh, coming by and taking a look at it, hanging out for a bit. And I'll see you tomorrow for Coffee Sunday. Coffee challenge.